welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference uh, in Bucharest, Romania, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Napoleon Adok Gai, who is the Director General of the National Communication Authority of the Republic of South Sudan. Uh, Mr. Adok Gai, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, South Sudan and how does South Sudan intend to reflect the theme of ITU, uh, the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference this year, uh, Connect to Unite in the next four years? First of all, South Sudan is the newest members of the ITU. Uh, we joined the ITU in 2011, I believe uh, immediately after Istimo Lister. And uh, as a new member, and emerging from war, we, we are already practicing connecting for, for uniting and for peace as well in our country. In two ways, we inherited a country that has no any infrastructure of its kind. So we basically relied on technology to, to not only bring unity, but also stability for our people and connecting us to the rest of the world. So as part of that effort, we have undertaken development and prioritizing connectivity as our agenda. For the next four years, we are planning a fiber optic cross country that we intend to connect with our neighbors in the Red Sea area through Sudan and Indian Ocean, through, Sudan, through Kenya and Uganda. And that by extension, we also seek to connect the same to Congo, Eastern Congo and Central Africa, making us actually the center of connectivity. So in his uh, ITU plenipotentiary opening ceremony address, the Secretary General of the United Nations uh, stressed human rights. Perhaps we could discuss cybersecurity and safety environments in South Sudan, as well as the steps taken by uh, South Sudan to protect digital human rights. As a state emerging from war, all our perceptions about legality is built on healing and ensuring confidence in the use of technology to promote peace, cohesion, and of course, freedom of press. So as part of that, the South Sudan has just ushered in a cyber security law, and we are now embarking in training uh, judicial system and law enforcement to understand the complexity of the emerging technology environment in our country. This is in preparation to ensure that their, their access to information is protected. And what are the major challenges facing you in, in this initiative? Certainly major challenges, as you are aware, technology is an evolving uh, every year, and a new, t new concepts are approaching, new crimes are emerging. So the biggest challenge we are facing is training the human resource to catch up with the cyber crime issues, to distinguish between freedom of press and deliberate distortion of information. We've seen that with the COVID and misinformation about uh, girl-child education and all these elements, how fast we can catch up to build the workforce to ensure access to information is protected as enshrined in the human rights law. Could you provide any of South Sudan's connection initiatives in the last few years, perhaps, and, and, and as well as an update on progress and, and or, or challenges that you faced in the progress? For the last two years, we've been embarking to try to localize our internet connectivity. As a new member state, we did not have an infrastructure, as I stated earlier, and one of the initiatives we did is establishing an internet exchange point, which would enable our children to browse locally, and also we are accelerating uh, digital literacy. These are two flagship projects that we have undertaken, and they have d direct bearing to the uptake of technology in the country. So these, I think, are the two I can cite for time being, along with connectivity. And looking ahead, looking to the future of South Sudan, how, how would you hope uh, it is connected? How would you hope, uh, that, what would you expect uh, and, and wish for in terms of connectivity? Certainly, we wish for that South Sudan, as a, as a country in the center of Africa, we wish to become the hub for the landlocked countries and change the perception of fiber optic following coastline to be able to use uh, uh, connectivity in land, uh, landlocked countries and an extension. So we would like to see ourselves at the hub of connectivity and provide abundant redundancy for uniting Africa. Well, we wish you the very best with that. Sir. Thank, thank and you very we very much, much hope uh, that it will all come to fruition. Uh, thank, you. Adok Gai, thank you very much indeed for being thank with us. Thank you for hosting me. Thank, thank you. you and good luck with the conference. Thank you.